hello friends hello friends now let us now learn some important points about the renal trauma right the most common injured part of the urinary bladder is kidney the most common cause of renal trauma is road traffic accident the best predictor of traumatic urinary system injury is presence of hematuria so diagnosis investigation of choice for diagnosis of renal injury in a stable patient is cect investigation of choice for diagnosis of renal injury in an unstable patient is by giving single intravenous shot of ivp is given this single shot of intravenous pyelogram will tell us about the functioning of contralateral kidney also now grades of renal injury are important in the grade 1 we have so these are the kidneys which i draw so first in the grade 1 there is subcapsular non expanding hematoma without laceration so there is subcapsular non expanding hematoma without laceration you see presence of microscopic hematuria in stage 2 there is non expanding perirenal hematoma with laceration less than 1 cm so this is the non expanding hematoma this is the laceration less than 1 cm then in grade 3 we see laceration more than 1 cm depth in renal cortex so this is the grade 3 where laceration more than 1 cm depth then in grade 4 we have parenchymal laceration is seen through the collecting septum the main renal artery or vein with contained hematoma is seen so this is the hematoma and this is the hematoma this is the primary laceration parenchymal laceration which is seen now stay grade 5 in grade 5 there can be completely shattered kidney so this will cause avulsion of renal hilum completely and thus there is complete devascularization of kidney so here there is complete avulsion of hilum here leading to complete devascularization of kidney treatment of uh, treatment of kidney injuries include first if more than 95 percent of the cases we do conservative management only 5 percent of cases we need operation intervention now indications of renal exploration are we these can be absolute indications and relative indications absolute indications is persistent of renal bleeding expanding or pulsatile perirenal hematoma and in relative indications include urinary re extra urinary extravasation non viable tissue and segment segmental arterial injuries so these are the indications of renal exploration then we have indications of renal nephrectomy so in the in an unstable patient there is hypothermia or coagulopathy with normal contralateral kidney is seen in unstable patient so in that is a if in an unstable patient if we see presence of hypothermia or coagulopathy with normal contralateral renal contralateral kidney is normal then we should do renal nephrectomy if there is either extensive renal injury or presence of poor functioning hydronephrotic kidney in these cases we should do renal nephrectomy so this is about the important points about renal nephrectomy thank you for watching